apostolic succession. All Christians claim that there were erroneous doctrines taught in the past which cannot be supported in the clearer light of our day. All rejoice in the spirit of greater amity spreading amongst Christians of various denominations, Catholic and Protestant. How did Christianity get into such a befogged condition that followers of Jesus thought they were honoring God in torturing their fellow men? With great unanimity, Bible students seem to be reaching the conclusion that the difficulty started in the doctrine of apostolic succession, the doctrine that bishops of the church were apostles, inspired in the same sense as the twelve. Pope Pius X realizes that the people no longer regard the bishops as inspired authority and successors to the apostles in office. Evidently himself dissenting, he has recently commanded that Roman Catholics be instructed to study the Bible, thus to come under the influence of the teachings of the inspired twelve apostles. All are gradually seeing that the twelve apostles of the Lamb, St. Paul taking the place of Judas, are the only divinely inspired authorities of the church. The church, after the death of the apostles, not having the conveniences of Bibles and education, look too implicitly to their bishops or pastors, and without authority accredited them with divine inspiration, similar to the twelve. After two hundred years, the mistake was partially recognized, and an attempt was made to rectify it, but in the wrong direction. It was found that the different bishops taught widely different contradictory doctrines. It was realized that these contradictions were not inspired by the Holy Spirit. Emperor Constantine, not baptized, called the Nicene Council of all the Apostolic Bishops at Nicaea, A.D. 325. About one-third, 384, came. These were commanded to decide on a creed. They wrangled for months. Then the emperor decided, and the Nicene Creed was the result. The emperor's edict was that all not consenting to it should be exiled. <laughs> <laughs>